today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Well, the kids started school today. Ashton is in middle school now and Juliet is in third grade, but she finally has the the privilege to use the microwave at school. So she's very excited about that. But anyway, I'm here at Goodwill and I'm gonna head in and see what I can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. I'm gonna stick that in the cart and then go around the corner and check it out. <laughs> There's a family trailing really closely behind me and I didn't want to hold them up, but let's check this out. Um, it is made in Mexico. It's marked Mexico on the bottom, $2.99. I really love the colors, and it's in pretty good condition. There's no uh, chips or cracks that I can see. So we're gonna stick that in there. What are those? I mean, they're a little bit sloppy. I don't know if somebody painted the, the tops gold. If they were meant to be that way, I don't know. I like them, but I feel like those are probably like sold at Big Lots or something like that. Here is a Florida bell. It was glued back together. Somebody loved it enough to fix it when it was broken. This here. What? Oh my gosh, Wildflowers by Cricut. That's correct. Um, I found them recently, and I couldn't remember who makes it, but they have this weird little marking there on them. This one actually has an original sticker. And um, mine sold pretty well when I've sold them in the past. It is a wall pocket, and it has... Kind of a floral look to it so i will stick that in here i don't know i just really like the colors of it i don't see any markings in the inside kind of like a carpet carpet bag <laughs> not that i really need any more purses but i like that one that was dolphin i missed this my first time through i don't suspect that this is murano it's probably made in China. A lot of the Murano ones I find actually have a flat um, contact spot right here at the mouth, which is interesting. Um, this is $3.99. It's still probably worth about $18 to $24. So I'll grab the doll thing. Check this out. It's an owl toothpick holder. So let's stick that in there. Oh, goodness, looks like somebody's owl collection is heading out onto the shelves. There is a fresh cart over there, but I don't really feel comfortable digging through the cart at this Goodwill. So I'm just kind of laying back and uh, been waiting for it to be put up on the shelves. But that's three owls we found. So I would say that somebody probably had donated their owl collection. $1.99 on that, I forgot to check the price. <laughs> this one just popped up too. Oh my gosh. I love owls. I guess today is my lucky day. I'm not as excited about that one though. These ones are cute. That looks like hull. Is it? Or is it a hobbyist piece? I feel like I have to peel back the sticker to see. It is marked Hull USA on the bottom, so it is hull. A little miniature picture for $2.99. I'm going to check the shelves one last time and see if any more owls magically appear because that was kind of exciting. There it is. He looks like he might be made in Canada. Wolf sculptures made in Canada. <laughs> Look at his eyeballs though. $2.99 on that owl. So I'm going to take a moment now to look through everything that I have in my cart and make sure that there's nothing in here that I'm going to regret. <laughs> I think I was pretty selective today though. Lots of small things that are easy to photograph and um, worth a few bucks. And then these two large plates. This is the only thing I'm really doubting. But I feel like on the chance that it is what I think it might be, for buck 99 it's worth grabbing and all of these things can fit in this little bag to get it out to the car so I think that's it for us I was being drawn back to the white section and I just found this guy I didn't peel back the sticker it does say bone china I'm not sure who makes it though I didn't peel it back that far but it is bone china it needs a little bath but you can hang out with our other owls
Okay, well that was a pretty good trip to the Goodwill. I feel like our total spend was right around $47. And um, it started out really slow. It started out slow. I was about ready to call it quits and then I saw that they were restocking and one owl showed up on the shelves and then the second owl showed up on the shelves. I'm kind of excited for that Bone China owl and figuring out what that says on the bottom because I peeled back the sticker just enough to see Bone China and um, the rest of it is a mystery. But I feel like we did pretty well today uh, for $47. And we're definitely going to make a decent profit on that. So I'm going to get out of here now. I'm probably going to head on down to the next Goodwill. Well, it's actually been a few weeks since I was here last. <laughs> I'm just noticing this bowl matches those two vases up there. I think today is going to be a bust. Unless, unless they bring on a fresh cart. Those are um, Japanese teacups, I think. And markings on the bottom. I do love that glaze. They're two ninety nine, probably twelve to eighteen dollars. Maybe more if I'm able to pin down a maker. I don't know. I don't have very much in my cart today, so maybe I'll snatch those up. I'm gonna swing back by the door and see if they have any new carts. But then I think I'm gonna get out of here. Well, this is my last stop before I take off. And I don't see much. There is a Vera up here. $9.99 on the Vera. Notice that um, a lot of the Goodwills charge a lot for Vera, even though the price has come down. I don't know what that is. It just has a, has a heavy quality about it. What is this one? One says Prime Wear on it. All right. I don't think we're gonna have any luck. I feel like we're getting closer. Every time we pick up a votive, we're getting one step closer to finding our glassy baby. Now I did find Fire and Light for the second time the other day, and that was pretty exciting. But anyway, I think I'm gonna get out of here now. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.